The werewolf was punching the gates with all his might when suddenly he felt a strange force running through his body, weakening him down. He fell on the ground to pass out. Someone's carrying him. Someone's speaking. Someone's giggling? The cell was bright and clean. Werewolf again heard someone's giggling. He raised his head to see a blurry shape of a female standing near his bed. Then he heard her voice. Well, well, well. Thousands of years without us and your kind spreads to other planets? Or perhaps you found yourself lost in the cargo log of a starship? Werewolf again felt the weakening force, but he managed to say one word. Vampires. The female giggled once again. <laughs> you will tell me everything I want to know, doggy. The next day he woke up in his human form, looking around the cell to find a way to get out of here, to force his way out like he always did. Then the steel doors opened and the woman walked in, swift like a wind. Vampire, werewolf smirked. I thought we have a truce. Josie looked at him truly surprised, then she smiled and said, Truce? An animal with quite a sense of humor, I see. Never you will see the truce between me and your kind, she added, almost hissing. You must not remember me, Josie continued, but I am sure your ancestors did tell you about the ancient times. Hmm? Drops of cold sweat ran down the werewolf's forehead. The queen? How? But we thought you were cured and died, they told us. Who told you? Josie interrupted. Werewolf now did not hide his confidence and explained. My queen, you are thousands of years away from the truth of the now. The planet you know, the one called your home and the house of vampires, is nothing like it used to be. The dominance of your kind is over. Tell me everything, the vampire queen interrupted again, or I will open this door to let you out straight into the bionic arms of the royal squad in a company of flesh-shredding turrets. The werewolf answered with polite smile. I will tell you everything, my queen. Not because of the royal squad or the turrets, but to be the one who announces the fall of the vampire. To see you fall into despair. The 6W3N has evolved into the abyss of unimaginable. After the failure of your kind and the victory of humans, it was the time of werewolves to show their superiority. But now, we are all just a small piece of the chaos. The planet never stopped sprouting up new mutations, species, whether it's noble ones or monsters. Even the dead cannot find peace there. The only thing that is certain on the planet 6W3N is never-ending battle between steel and flesh of living and dead and werewolf paused to smirk. Even something as grotesque as magic. Josie chuckled. Magic? Yes, werewolf continued. Psionic, elemental, curses and blessings in physical form. Go ahead then, almighty queen. Throw me out of this cell to meet my fate laid in hands of your royal squad. I can die now as the messenger of your overthrow. Seeing you... Almighty Queen becoming just a tiny grain of sand. Helpless. The Vampire Queen smiled. <laughs> no. No, my dear pet. You will live. Your fate is to see me taking back the planet, the house of vampires, not 6W3N as you call it. Josie turned back and walked up to the cell doors. When I win the war on my planet, you will be the messenger of my superiority. This is your true fate. Hey everyone, I'm Marty. Welcome back to RimWorld once again. 
Before we start, I have installed once again two new mods. First is Bionic Icons, which is self explanatory, right? But it's great. It You can see that this is like lungs, this is bionic leg, this is bionic arm, so it's more readable, I would say. You know what you have. It's not just, you know, those vanilla boxes, like neon color, right? Second one is wealthy traders. And I actually regret that I have not installed it, this mod, since day one in the season two, because this mod would allow me to get to certain points in the game, in the season two, faster. So what it does, it simply makes all the traders richer and they carry more stuff to trade. When it comes to orbital traders, they, they are like super rich, but this actually makes sense because they're orbital traders, so they have their own starships or ships, spaceships, whatever. But traders wandering around are also richer but they are not as rich as the orbital traders let me show you so i have a perfect example here i pause the game when textiles trader orbital trader is available and i have visitors and one of them is simply wandering trader i have to find him josie wake up and connect with export company textiles trader and as you can see he has over 100,000 silver on board, right? And he has more things at his disposal to trade with me. But basically, it's all about the silver here for me. Now, Wandering Trader, he also has more silver, but not as much, but still 8,000, not like 900, for example. And he's exotic... Uh, trader whatever and look he has like ai persona how many right and other stuff it's simply easier to get to things when your colony is bigger and you know we have lots of different resources and materials and stuff to trade so this mod is awesome in my opinion and it helps a lot and i should have installed it much earlier so i wouldn't be waiting so long to get to certain things so like i said trading with this mod wealthy traders is much more flexible oh my goodness look bad but this is not a vampire this is like legit bad so i have installed all the bionic parts all the basic i would say bionic parts in each and every member of the v-squad excluding sharon hayden and everlay which we will get to in a second and this is new guy he just escaped he wasn't chased again i don't know what's going on but he has some things i want like heart lungs and stuff in behalf of josie gwen and Artie, buried here because uh, i don't know but he has to wake up and build stuff because he's getting plasteel from location discovered by the long range mineral scanner so they have decided and i'm announcing it that hayden his wife sharon and his daughter everlay would be too much of a burden joining the v squad sharon hayden and everlay can live here in the VCT for now, but they are definitely not included in the starship. So no, I'm not going to like let them go into the wilds. They will stay in the VCT and they will do whatever, just like BB in the season one. So six members for now, maybe new members will happen. We'll see, but those six are enough. I have researched pretty much everything I wanted, I needed. Yes, I have built anti-logic omnibot and Artie is carrying it because it helps him with the extraction of minerals and you know resources and stuff and holding because omnibot if you didn't know is just like all the jobs all the skills in one bot so it's very useful 
but it's also very expensive so I have only one and he's with Ardy so Ardy is like protecting it. Visitors have arrived at the V city. They are afraid to enter territory for the following reasons Toxic, toxic fallout. Yeah come on in. Visitors please be werewolves. Yes I got you. I got you. And it's the right hour because Josie and Gwen are awake. Look, all of them werewolves. <laughs> like I said, it's time to end this season slowly. Hey guys, come on in. Josie and Gwen, come on. Mm, okay, so I have to catch them. What are you guys doing even? They're like running through or what? Yeah. <gasps> Okay, so I think they're running through. So they have to be caught. Oh, stupid turrets. Hold fine. There are a couple things to show before we leave this planet. And one of them is unlimited transport pod. <laughs> I just realized that. I didn't show it in the last episode, in the previous episode. So let's build it. I will need... No, not this one, this one. I will need two advanced components. The surgeries are going quite well. Although the cybernetic neural network mod body parts are taking so long to be produced. So I hope they will be really overpowering. Oh, I've already sent the advanced components. I didn't notice, my goodness. But now I have to wait for the haulers to transport all the materials so I can pack everything at once. One more mod I haven't checked yet in this season and I should, which is climate control. The research to unlock basic and industrial climate control have been finished. So now we have climate tab here and couple of new devices and I'm going to replace these vanilla coolers because they are always being destroyed when attack happens and the cooler's HP is really low. It's only 100. What we have here? We have wall mounted air vent. This one is big. Well, that's all right. Here and here. And here should be fine. Another type of pipes to be laid and to be led to the ventilation room. And I'm going to build large intake fan. One. Oh, it has... Oh, I can... So it needs space around, but... I can build two like this. So, okay, let's build two like this. Then large air climate control. I'm guessing like this. Other than that, I have surround air vent, which is simply just like wall mounted air vent, but it can be placed in the middle of the room, right? I had infestation here, but three shotgun turrets. Did the job oh it's blocked see so intake fans need the space around so i cannot do it like this but maybe i don't need to build two maybe only one so let's build one okay there we go minus 60 celsius and now we will get rid of the vanilla coolers i can see that the air is pumped to air vents and it's converted to the point I want it to be. One more vent here and connect it. I can see that vents have this option auto or this pipe, this pipe or this pipe. We'll get on auto. It's minus two already. It's going down slowly. Okay. And the temperature is already freezing. <laughs> so it works. Nice mod. So it needs only one intake fan unit and climate control. I wish the fans were spinning 
but oh well. However, I have installed this mod climate control because I wanted to have this option to build walk-in freezers without coolers being weak points in the wall, right? But I didn't expect that the hygiene mod also has an option of air conditioning. And as you can see, there's walk-in freezer unit here. And I can also build that and use the same pipes I use for the heating. And well, I didn't know that the hygiene mod offers all that. Climate control, very nice mod, but I don't think I will be using it in the future because I have the same option of creating freezing rooms with hygiene mod. Let's move to the map where I cleared every single mountain. The beauty of unlimited transport pod is that I can pack it up at once, everything at once. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna destroy this wall here to make it easier to load the, all the stuff to the unlimited transport pod. Artie is glowing green, why? Energy core. We will get to that in the last episode, so in the next episode, which will be the last one. But yeah, he's glowing. This is so cool. And he's, look how fast he is because of the muscle wires. The unlimited transport pod has the 99999 limit, which is pretty much unlimited. So I don't have to worry about the capacity. Okay, everything except the haulers, Omnibot and Artie will be packed now. Okay, everything is packed. I'm sending the unlimited transport pod to the VCT. And watch this. Watch here. <laughs> well, like I said, it's very convenient. What? Ferco? Okay, Ferco has been recruited to my colony. Okay, that's cool. Welcome. And... Uh, well, we'll get to the, like I said, we'll get to the prosthetics and cybernetic implants in the next episode. Lastly, Artie is up and he's going to get a drink. Now he's going to uninstall the Omnibot and deconstruct the geothermal generator. The last one. Artie, stop freaking out. And from the materials we get from geothermal generator, He's going to build the last pod which will take him and the Omnibot back to the V-City. This settlement is clear. Now I can abandon it. And like I said, I will probably have to clear more maps to get all the materials and resources needed to build what I want from Cybernetic mod and the pros Expanded Prosthetics mod. But that's in the next episode which will be the last one once again. So see you in the next episode or in other videos. Thank you very much for all the subscriptions and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps a lot. And thank you for watching. That's it for now. Bye.